Professor Wallace. Yeah, you seen him? Oh, Professor, you mean Professor Wallace. Listen, you, hey, listen, you haven't seen my hat, have you? Uh, Black I, hat. Yeah, it's on your head. What? What's on my head? Your hat's on your head. No, I'm looking for my hat. Pay it. I know it was on my head. Uh, I'd, I'd see it. When I was on my uh, head, I'd know. Here it is. Oh, there it oh, is. We found Where it. was it? You found it. Where was it? I'll give you this black hat. Yeah. If you tell us yeah. where Spit Professor up. Wallace is. Oh, all right, you sweet talking gal. We can all do right. it. Come on. Do the deal. Stick on my head. Thank you very much. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Where is he? Come around the back or on the side or on the Which roof. Which way? Where do you want to see him? Well, come we'll around. move you around the side. Which side? That side? That side. All right. See you there. Okay, okay I'll see you there. There you go. Okay. All good. You haven't seen me glasses, have you? We've been performing agricultural shows round Australia for over 10 years and popping up here and there has been this phenomenal puppet man, Professor Wallace. Get out Gary, we wanted to ask you, could you please tell us the history of Professor Wallace? Oh, the whole history. In 30 seconds. 100 years and 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, okay, well, it goes back 100 years. There's been about three that we know of, perhaps more before it come to Australia. I'm the third one. Probably the second oldest continuous act in Australia. I think Ashton's is, is a bit older. When the professor died, he'd passed on, moved on to a big puppet theatre in the sky, and um, these boxes just arrived on my veranda. Yeah. So that was for me, because no one else, he had no one else to leave them to. And because then I was on the road performing and I'd become established, so he thought, well, that's. This is, the, this is where it should go. How it's, many puppets were there? Uh, quite a few. <laughs> like 10, 50, 100? I'd have, probably I'd have about 50, I reckon, oh, at least okay. now. So some of them are in these boxes. <laughs> oh. It was something there that I just had this connection. I thought it was just a bit of magic, that this bit of wood could come alive and have a voice and a personality. And, and, and it seems to have uh, people just I don't know, I still don't understand it, the magic. It still works. I mean, it's been around for a thousand years, so. Oh. <laughs> Harry, show us oh, what you've got okay. in your bags. Okay, well, there's a couple of bags of puppets. A bag full of puppets. This is Mr. Punch. Well, he's probably the most famous puppet of all time. He's been around for about 600 years or so. 600 years? Not him, personally. But yeah, he's that a, is old. Oh. And this is his charming wife, Judy. She's oh, beautiful. Hey, Judy. Actually, she reminds me of, um, Lucy. Oh, Lucy Ball. Yeah. That's Joey the Clown. Oh. So, all them with wood. I reckon if you're a bit afraid of her, uh, uh, afraid of clowns, you would know about Joey. Oh, okay, let's get a few more happening. Oh. That's Joey's story. Yeah, Joey's going to come to you in the middle of the night and start eating your eyes out. There's, the, there's the crocodile. He eats punch in the end. That's my version. I do a little. No, the crocodile eats punch. No. They're all going to rip. They drink a lot of punch. Ah! Basically, you use three fingers. Do you finger the puppets? So, yeah, you put put it up inside. You've noticed the whole way. Yeah, the main character is always in the right hand. And all Gary has a lot of puppets, most of which he's inherited from the Professor Wallace's through the eons. We wondered what his relationship was like between him and the puppets. It's a two-way thing. <laughs> Um, I work for them, basically. I do all the work, they get all the accreditation, the glory, but I get all the money. Mm. So it's, it works all right. That's a nice so relationship. And, yeah. We should get some puppets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it works well. You have to feed them. Um, just put them in a bag and until the next show. Where does the voice come from? The voice? Wow, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, the thing is, I suppose, I don't know whether I've got it, some condition, multiple personality or disorder, I don't know, but you need the puppet to bring it out. But I find I just go into, before the show, just disappear. So the puppets channel me, so all these characters and voices just emerge. I'm not sure where they come from exactly. Yeah. I never figured that one out, but they're there waiting. But you need the puppet to, to bring it out. They come alive. It's, it's it is a bit it's mysterious. The channel. The channel. Your Channeling. body's the channel. To Fifty-two Buick. Fifty-two Buick. Well, how does she run? Well, it's only a quarter of a fifty-two Buick. Oh, that's all right. Our house was only a half when we bought it. But it um, got potential, I think. I think so.
Yeah. yeah. It's funny where life takes people. Gary used to be a builder and a labourer before he met Professor Wallace and then inherited the puppets. Now he travels Australia performing and delivering puppet shows. Gary, what is it like touring in the outback with your puppets? Well, it's not for everyone. <laughs> I mean, he'd be silly enough to go out on the road and live on a horse float for half the year. But someone's got to do it. It's nice to be doing it for a reason, on a bit of a mission. So you can enjoy the travelling, but still doing something and, and uh, getting a bit of applause and, and getting a bit of, bit of money. So. What makes performing in Outback Australia uh, different from, for you? There's a lot of characters out west, um, yeah. interesting people, and less of them. <laughs> Less of them, but very appreciative when, yeah. as you know, a show yeah. comes to town, they, they really enjoy it because they don't get a lot of entertainment. So, fewer people, but uh, more enjoyment, more appreciation. Do you see many other uh, clowns that are female that travel? Uh, I've met a few. Toot the Clown, she was around for a few years. I've become a bit of a mentor for her. Yeah, it's a shame, really, because I can't see why. You couldn't have a novel act, or even a magician or a clown doing uh, a woman. Professor Wallace could be the next one. Could be a woman. Yeah. Never know. Yeah, there's no reason could, why. Could do a deal sometime, Gary. Yeah. But I'm going to die first. Well, we can arrange we, that if you like. Stick around for a little while because uh, until next time. We'll see adios. You. Adios, amigos. I like this more. Hey, where you going? You're going the wrong way. The car's that way. Oh. Who's a dummy around here?